Five. Hey guys, this is Matthew Onassis, RN at Dr. Emmer's office. We have our patient here today who is interested in PRP injections to the scalp. What that's going to do is we took his blood, we spun it in a centrifuge, and we're going to inject that plasma into his scalp, and it's going to induce hair growth. This was originally done in the 80s for patients with alopecia, and it's shown a lot of results. So our patient here does have some receding hair, and what we're going to do is we're going to inject it into certain areas that have weak hair growth, and what that plasma is going to do, it has your own growth factors in it, inject it into the scalp, and it's going to stimulate growth. This, this uh, procedure is done four to six weeks apart. You can do it obviously more than once, and over the course of six months, you do notice a significant difference. And uh, we did mix it with what's called A cell, which is going to be more stem cells. It's a thick kind of plasma. This is going to get injected and uh, doesn't hurt. It just feels like a little pinch in your scalp. So we're going to go ahead and get started now, okay? If you guys have any questions along the way, well, let me know. They said hello from Turkey. Hello from Turkey. Merhaba. <laughs> So what we're doing is we're giving a series of injections in different sites of the scalp and what that's going to do is it's going to stimulate this area And the liquid actually gets kind of thick. One, two, three. Now, do you put numbing medication for this? No, they actually don't need to be numbed. It's a really small needle. So, generally speaking. And what does that feel know. like when it's being injected? How does it feel, Jesus? It really feels like someone just popped a sip. Like, that's really, it's not, there's nothing painful. Or uncomfortable. Aesthetic nurse Neil says, "Love PRP for hair restoration." Hello from the UK. Nice. Miranda wants to know: Is this a procedure that you have to keep up with? Yes. So while you do see results, you do need to repeat it until you get enough new cell growth to reach the surface of the scalp. And it does need to be repeated. Uh, we do suggest red light therapy, which is definitely going to also help uh, reduce inflammation and actually induce some collagen growth, and along with um, hair growth as well. Can you use PRP for your beard? For what? For a, your beard area? Uh, yes, you definitely can. Yeah. So here we're just mixing it. What sure. about eyebrows? Eyebrows. You know, we have Latisse, which can help with that as well. And that shows a lot of results. Uh, patients like to have more surface area with their PRP injections. Okay, so I'm actually going to this side again. And we like this patient, so we're doing all different areas. Now, this area can only be done in areas where there are current hair cells, follicles. You can't do it on a complete bald spot. It's not how it works. A lot of people think, oh, well, I'm bald, can I do it now? No, you have to do it when you still have follicles in that area because it's going to help reproduce. and not just create new ones in a bald desert. Miranda wants to know, so if the hair comes back, will it fall out if you stop doing the injections? Um, you will keep some of the hair, but you do need to frequently do it, like we said, but not as often. So some patients will just do it once a year after they get enough hair. 
And if they're not getting the results, um, you know, maybe a hair trans transplant may be another option. But PRP is great because you're using your own cells. There's no surgery required. It does work. Um, so it's just good to get that little regrowth in that area that, of your concern. So now I'm going to ask our patient to lean a little forward. So as we can see right here, there is a little natural hair loss. So men usually get a receding in the front and then they get a little uh, balding here. It's a very common spot. So when they do a hair transplant, they actually cut. We have patients come in, botched surgeries, a lot of scarring. So this is a great alternative instead of surgery. So we inject, we inject. Has the patient has any treatments yet or is this his first time? This is his first time. So we'll probably see him at about four to six weeks from now for his second treatment. And then after that, maybe once every six months or until he has the desired effect. Does it work for women too? Yes, for women too. You know, women have a lot of hair loss issues because of killing their hair follicles or genetics. Is that an age limit? Age limit, no. So if, if you suffer from any kind of hair loss, um, this is definitely gonna benefit you but you definitely need to get assessed to see if you benefit. But it's your own cells, you know, it's not, it's not harmful. So this receding area here, we're trying to fill this area to give them a more youthful look. So if I were to inject somewhere here, that's not gonna help. It has to be where there's current follicles. So we're just trying to regrow a thicker, healthier area. So. How many treatments do you need to f see initial results? Initial results, probably at least three to four. And again, it's, it's an additive effect. So it's not that nothing is happening between the treatments. Something is happening, but it's happening at such a small molecular level that you have to repeat the treatments so that you can see a bigger difference. Any more questions, guys? All right, looks like there's no more questions. All righty. We'll see you guys make an appointment. You can go to Emirage Cosmetics, get some of our skincare. You can also call us, make an appointment for a consultation and message us. Let us know what you think. If you have any questions about this procedure or something else similar to it, let us know.